Hello. Um, for this pattern, the, the guinea corn and pegasus, I decided the most difficult part was the wings for the pegasus. So I'm going to do a quick video on how to do those. Um, I made a circle starting with six stitches in the middle and doing two increase rounds. So I have 18 stitches around the outside. Um, and then I went ahead and tied a knot and cut off my tail, which I know is a, usually a big no-no. But it makes this a lot easier because when you fold this in half, the tail's not stuck sticking off to the side and causing all kinds of trouble. So this just makes it a little bit easier um, once we've folded it in half. What we're going to be doing is fold it in half and then we're going to be working in both stitches all the way around the half circle. Um, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches across the half circle um, and that's where you're going to work your feathers so to start out um, we're going to make a right wing um, the wings are shaped differently um, for right and left and I'll show you why in a minute um, but the right wing starts with the long feather that it hangs off over here so we're going to chain ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. I apologize in advance for my really squeaky hook. Um, it'll be squeaking its way through this whole video. So we're going to HDC in the third chain and then HDC the remaining 7 um, stitches down till we get back to our wing. Okay, so now that we're back to the wing, we're going to work in that first stitch. Make sure you work through both sides of your half circle and slip stitch. So we have a feather stuck on the other. Now the next feather is a chain 8. And then we're going to HDC in the third chain from the hook, and then in the remaining five. And then working through both layers, a slip stitch in the next stitch of the, of the wing. Then we're going to do a chain seven. And HDC in the third chain from the hook, and then in the remaining four. And then working through both layers, we're going to slip stitch back to our half circle. So we've got three nice feathers going here. So the next one is another chain seven. So into the third chain and then the remaining four down. Blah! My squeaky hook and my yarn are running away from me today. Maybe the squeak is a protest. 
Gee, I hope not, because this, this particular hook has a lot more work to do today. All right, and then we're going to slip stitch back into the wing. So the next one is chain five, HDC into the third hook, or third chain, and then two down. And slip stitch into the next. And then we're gonna HD or we're gonna chain three, sorry. And then HDC just into that third chain from the hook. And slip stitch into the next stitch. Maybe if squeaky here feels like cooperating. And then the last three, one, two, three are going to just get um, SCs through them because you're going to use the SCs to attach your wings um, to your Pegasus. So when you're all done, you'll have your tail over here and you use these three SCs um, and it sew those directly to your Pegasus body and then that way your wing sticks up all pretty like this. And then your other wing is, is done just like this one, but it's going to be worked from the short side to the long side instead of the long side to the short side. That way when you put them together, um, they both, both of the right sides face forward. Because if you did two identical wings, then your, um, your other one would have its ugly side facing forward. So you have the to have the pretty sides facing forward. You do one wing starting on this end and one wing starting on this end. Um, so there you go. There's your Pegasus wings. And um, when you finish your Pegasus or your Guinea corn, please send me pictures. I love to see pictures. And I will catch you in the next pattern. Thanks. Bye.